NBC comes to RFK, a hero returns to Philadelphia, and a gem at Jeldwin, next on The Daily. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily here with Andrew Wiebe. I'm Nick Fershaw looking at the biggest games in MLS this weekend and starting off with a good one on Friday night on the NBC Sports Network. DC United at home against FC Dallas, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. You can find a live chat on MLSsoccer.com. And for DC United, Andrew, winless so far this season. Their captain, the league MVP, has some strong words for him. Yeah, Dwayne De Rosario coming out in the media saying yesterday, this has got to change. Obviously, the first three games, no wins for them. And that's something that they have to be disappointed about. Lost their first one at RFK to Sporting Kansas City, a place where they struggled mightily last season. They'll have to hope to, to get that on the right track against a, an FC Dallas side that has some injury issues. Fabian Castillo will not play. <laughs> Uh, David Ferreira still looking unlikely, looking like maybe even a longer term layoff after visiting with doctors this week. Breck Shea a question mark after the last week with the Olympic team. So perfect opportunity for DC United to make a little bit of a statement win, get things on the right track after a slow start to the season. George John and Ricardo Villar also carrying some injuries into that game. Friday night, DC United at home against FC Dallas, 7.30 p.m. Eastern on the NBC Sports Network. You can find a live chat on MLSsoccer.com. Next up, one of the biggest storylines of the young season going to play out on Saturday. Sebastian Latou returning to Philadelphia, the Vancouver Whitecaps at the Philadelphia Union, 4 p.m. Eastern. You can find that on TSN in Canada or on MLS Live here in the United States. A big one, obviously, we know. This dates all the way back to preseason when Peter Novak and the Philadelphia Union traded Latou away. This is the game we've been waiting for. Obviously, all attention drawn on that matchup with Sebastian Latou coming back, a fan favorite. and. Peter Novak was asked about him this week and was yeah. very dismissive of the question, making some sarcastic remarks about confetti and celebrations. But apart from that, this is going to be a difficult matchup for Philadelphia on the field. Vancouver, the only team in MLS who has not given up a goal so far this season. On the flip side, Philadelphia doesn't have a win or a result at all. Three losses to start it off, so they'll be desperate to get some sort of points at home and hopefully prove that uh, Novak was right, at least in uh, changing things up there so that he did in the offseason. You mentioned that Vancouver defense, Jay Demer at Finally healthy, fit, and really uh, an integral part of that Vancouver Whitecaps back line. They're going to get a test against the Philadelphia Union on Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern on TSN in Canada and on MLS Live here in the United States. Next up, a great game on the docket on Saturday night. The Portland Timbers at home against Real Salt Lake, 10 p.m. Eastern on MLS Live. Two of the better teams in the West, but both coming off losses. RSL at home against Chivas last week with a stunning loss there. And Portland comes home after a loss at New England. What do you make of this one? Obviously going to be a really tough test for RSL coming off that loss at home. Portland. Not, not exactly the best season as an expansion side, but they were lights out at home last season. Yeah. Get up to play in front of Timbers Army, and a guy who has done that so far this season, Chris Boyd, struggled in New England. We'll see if he can turn his form around in front of those crazy fans there in Portland. But on the RSL side, some injury issues they're still working through. Uh, Alvaro Sabrio and uh, Javier Morales have not started this season. Jason Kreis being, uh, being a little cloak and dagger, saying they yeah. could. Certainly they'll start to play a role in this busy stretch over the next eight games for them. But if not, Paolo Jr. and Sebastian Velasquez have done a good job. So we'll see how those two teams match up. RSL with their movement and Portland with their size and physicality. Yeah, it should be an interesting one. You mentioned Jason Kreis been very meticulous about bringing Morales and Saborio back into the fold for Real Salt Lake. But Chris Boyd going to face a tough challenge against that Real Salt Lake back line. 10 p.m. Eastern out at Jeldwin Field. You can find that game on MLS Live. Last game we're going to look at this weekend, one on the NBC Sports Network on Saturday night. The LA Galaxy back in action after a week off. They're at home against the New England Revolution, 11 p.m. Eastern on the NBC Sports Network. You can find a live chat on MLSsoccer.com. We mentioned that we haven't seen the Galaxy in a couple weeks. Uh, they're still maybe a little bit reeling from that CONCACAF Champions League loss. Can they find their form against the New England Revolution, who had their first win of the season last week? Well, I think it's easy. To, that's an easy one. I think they definitely do. You look at what they did as, after they came off that loss to Toronto FC at home, took DC United to task, another mid to bottom table Eastern Conference team coming into the Home Depot Center. This has got to be one that the Galaxy expect to win. On the other side of things, Jay Heaps and the Revolution got their first win last week. A nice win at home against the Timbers. An early goal getting that one done, but still struggling to create a lot offensively. That's not going to get any easier against a Galaxy side that's going to punish you for any mistake that you make. And an interesting side note in this one that's going to date LA Galaxy manager Bruce Arena a little bit when he was the uh, college coach at the University of Virginia. He actually scouted Jay Heaps out of high school, uh, the, now the head coach 
at the New England Revolution. Should be an interesting one on Saturday night, 11 p.m. Eastern on the NBC Sports Network. And a little reminder before the weekend begins, get your fantasy teams in. 7.15 p.m. Eastern is the deadline tonight. You've got the opportunity to make transfers up to that date, so make sure everything's ready to go or else you'll be kicking yourself come Monday. And last but not least, the latest edition of Extra Time Radio is up from Thursday. We actually spoke to David Testo, a former MLSer who last year came out, uh, openly gay athlete, the first North American soccer player to do so. He had a couple of great comments about the Colin Clark controversy. And we also caught up with one of the leading members of the Sons of Ben, the Philadelphia Union supporters group, ahead of that big uh, game against Sebastian Latou and the Vancouver Whitecaps, how exactly they're going to receive their hero. You can find that on iTunes and Buzzsprout. And for a complete schedule of all the games this weekend, a lot of very good ones in MLS, log on to MLSsoccer.com.